हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए पोएम हुई इज न्यूली इंक्लूडेड इन क्लास टेन सिलेबस द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज फ्रॉम द फॉर्मल इज जेयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर टूडेज क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स लुक एट द पिक्चर्स ऑल आर अबाउट द रोड एक्सीडेंट्स ओके हुई आर वेरी कॉमन इन इंडिया नाउ एड एज यू विल बी एसॉक्ट और एस्टोनिज टू नो दैट अबाउट वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पीपुल डायड इन इंडिया एंड अबाउट फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन पीपुल इन ओडिशा डायड इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन ड्यू टू रोड एक्सीडेंट्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ इंज्यूर्ड एंड डिसेबल्ड पीपुल इनक्रीजेस अबाउट थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स हायर देन द नंबर ऑफ डेथ्स You have already read about the factors which are responsible for road accidents in class nine. Dear students, here question arises: uh, Why do road accidents occur, or why do road accidents happen? According to WHO or the World Health Organization, has identified some important factors which are responsible for road accidents. The important factors are speed driving. Underage driving, drunken driving, careless driving, careless pedestrian, overtaking in wrong way, the habit of not using the seat belts, and the habit of not using the helmets. So these are the important factors which are responsible for road accidents. The today's topic or the today's poem from the formal injury is about the tragic accidental death of a young and energetic boy named Vicky. Now I am going to discuss about the poet. Who is the poet? Who had written the poem from the formal injury? And what is the motto of the poet? Look at here. Dr. Rita S. Moni is the poet who has written the poem from the formal injury. She is a doctor by profession and a writer by passion because she loves to write. Okay. And she is a neurovirologist at Nimhans. What is the full form of Nimhans? National Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience. National Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience. Okay, which is situated at Bangalore. Next, she has published several short stories, poems, essays, and travelogues. What is the meaning of travelogues? Travelogues means the writings which are related to travels. Okay. She loved to give health informations in her writings. Okay, what is what is her motto? As she loves to give health informations in her writings, so she wants to educate and wants to foster inquisitiveness in children. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the poem. The poem from the formal injury is written by Dr. Rita S. Moni, who is a doctor, and uh, she has written. the poem in september 2013 why she has written it she has written the poem to create awareness in safe driving okay and uh, the poem it is a tragic accidental death of a young boy it means the poet described in the poem about the tragic accidental death of a young and energetic boy and it is a heartbreaking poem because the boy had lost his life in a road accident okay and uh, here also the poem described about simple carelessness how a simple carelessness is held responsible for the road accident and uh, due to which the boy had lost his precious life okay the poem also teaches a lesson to the young boys and girls that as fame strength beauty wisdom and knowledge become meaningless until a person is careful about his safety okay and uh, the poem also helps us to learn the use of traffic symbols and due to the proper use of traffic symbols the number of road accidents can be checked dear students now look at the text i am going to discuss about the text the poem is consist of six stanzas now at first look at the first stanza Hi I am Bikki's brilliant brain sitting in a formalin jar with this stain on display to promote knowledge gain 
watching people stare at me again and again. The hard points using here are brilliant brain. It means the brain of Vicky is brilliant one. Very bright and very clever. Brilliant means very bright and very clever. Formalin. What is the meaning of formalin? A simple chemical compound made of hydrogen, oxygen and carbon. Okay. Which is used for preserving the dead bodies. Disdain. What is the meaning of disdain? Disdain means the feeling of not getting the respect. Display. Display means to exhibit. Stare. Looked fixedly. In first stanza, the poet Dr. Rita Asmani describes about Vicky's brilliant brain that how his brilliant brain introduces itself in the first stanza. Okay. And says that it has been preserved in a formalin jar with lack of respect. It is not getting the respect. It means nobody is giving love and respect to it. The, the jar has been displayed as one of the human brain specimens for the doctors and science related students who will um, study medical sciences as they can gain knowledge from it. Okay, So, they stare at it again and again. Now look at the second stanza. How insulting to be called a specimen. Two years ago, I was part of a living human. I got no stroke, tumor or box within, yet ended up in this jar to my chagrin. The hard points are specimen. What is the meaning of specimen? Specimen means a sample. And stroke. What is the meaning of stroke? Stroke means brain attack. Stroke means brain attack. What is the meaning of tumor? Tumor means a mass of diseased growing cell or box. What is the meaning of box? Box is the germ which is present inside the brain. Char green. What is the meaning of char green? Char green means a feeling of unhappiness. Feeling of unhappiness. In second stanza, the brain wants to describe about his insulting feeling that it doesn't want to be named as a specimen. It feels insulted to be called a specimen. And it didn't like the people staring at him. It says that two years ago, it was a part of a living human. It means that two years ago, it was not in any jar, rather it was alive and it was inside the skull of a living human. And also the brain is saying that it was free from all kinds of diseases. It means at that time it got no stroke, no tumor and no box. But unfortunately he was killed in a serious road accident. And his brain was donated to the medical college to be preserved and used as a specimen so it feels unhappy. Now look at the third stanza. Vicky was a young boy, smart and sane, full of life and vigor, sun, wind or rain. Computers and maths were his domain. His motto in life was no pain, no gain. The hard points are sane. What is the meaning of sane? Sane means having a normal healthy mind. Vigor. Vigor means energy. Domain. Domain means an area of knowledge. No pain, no gain. It is an English proverb which means it is necessary to work hard in order to gain success in life. So in third stanza, the poet wants to describe that the living human about whom the brain is talking about was a young and energetic boy whose name was Vicky, who was a young, smart and sound mind or healthy mind. He wore well dressed and looks handsome. He was full of life and vigor. Bhikkhu was also wants to tell that he was, he was energetic and strong in all kinds of weather, the sun, wind or rain. According to the brain, computers and mathematics were Bhikkhu's favorite subjects and he acquired a lot of knowledge on these two subjects. Okay. He was industrious and believed in hard working. So no pain, no gain was the motto of his life. Stanja 4. Vicky's love for his parents was truly insane and he adored his grandma wrinkles and can. 
in college when he stole a glance at lawrence why his heart went thud thud only i could explain what the hard points are insane what is the meaning of insane means excessive adored adored means loved very much wrinkles wrinkles means criss cross or lines on the skin which can be seen in old age can can means walking stick glance glance means uh, quick look third third it is the sound of the heart okay so in fourth stanza the poet wants to describe about bikki's love towards his parents grandma and a girl bikki loved his parents very much uh, the use of the phrase truly insane implies that he loved them madly he also loved his grandmother very much and also respect her very much his love for his grandmother was so deep that he loved even the wrinkles on her body and her walking sticks also in his college time he stole a glance at lawrence who might be a young girl of the college the brain says that it could only explains about the uh, third third sound of the heart of fiki when he took a glance at lawrence now look at the fifth stanza on a wet monsoon day for a tax mundane bikki rode his bike to his friend in his next lane for once from wearing his helmet he did different god he met with an accident gory and inhuman so the hard points using here are mundane what is the meaning of mundane mundane means not important not so important one refrain refrain means to stop yourself from doing something gory means blood shed inhuman inhuman means unkind or cruel so in fifth stanza the poet wants to describe here about the incident how the accident occurred in the life of bikki so on one rainy day monsoon day means one rainy day that weather is wet and on that day bikki had he rode his bike to his friend's house in the next lane which was in the next lane which was not very far from his house and for the first time he didn't wear the helmet while riding the bike so unfortunately he met with an accident and died due to severe head injuries the accident that took vicky's life has been described as cruel and unkind here now look at the sixth stanza it is the sixth stanza or the last stanza of the poem all it took was a stray moment in an a young life lost a family crossed with pain dear friends take care risky driving can be bane drive safe let your precious life not be in vain so the hard points used here are stray what is the meaning of stray stray means separated from others inen inen means stupid crossed crossed means suffered suffered with pain ban ban means cause of misery precious life means important life in ban in ban means useless in six stanza the poet describes years how the accident occurred in the twinkling of an eye and vicky's young life young and energetic life was lost and leaving his family members to suffer with much pain and in the two concluding line on in the last two lines of the poem the poet dr rita s mani wants to uh, warns us against risky driving which may cause misery she also makes people aware and conscious of driving safe so that their precious life won't be in vain the people are not losing their life their precious life uselessly dear students i also want to discuss about some traffic symbols look at the symbols right hand curve with left hand curve right hairpin bend this is left hairpin bend right reverse bend left reverse bend steep ascent steep descent narrow road ahead road wideness ahead 
Nero, Nero Road, Slippery Road, Loose Gravel, and Cycle Crossing, Pedestrian. This is the symbol of stop. This is the symbol of stop. Give away, one way, no entry. One way, one way both direction. Right turn prohibited, left turn prohibited. One way, U turn prohibited, overtaking prohibited, horns prohibited. Speed limit, compulsory turn left, compulsory ahead only, compulsory turn right ahead, compulsory ahead or turn right, compulsory ahead or turn left, compulsory keep left, compulsory sound horn. Okay. Now I am going to discuss some penalties. Look at the chart that is given in your book. Penalties and the offenses. These are the amounts and these are the offenses. General 500, rules of road regulation violation 500, traveling without ticket 500, unauthorized use without license 5000, driving without license 5000, disobedience of orders of authorities 2000, trick and drive 10000, speeding or racing 5000, vehicle without permit 10000, driving without qualification 10000, Without seat belt, 1000. Without helmet, 1000. Oversized vehicles, 5000. Not providing way for emergency vehicle, 10000. Over speeding, 1000 or 2000. Driving without insurance, 2000. Dangerous driving penalty, 5000. Offenses by juvenile, juveniles, 25000. Overloading of passengers, 1000 per one passenger overloading of two wheelers 2000 so my dear students i hope you must understand about the poem about the important factors which are held responsible for the road accidents about the traffic symbols about different types of penalties for different types of offenses that's all thank you